hey, guess what? I decided to dye my hair for real, for real. I've always been a natural hair care junkie, so I've never dyed my whole head of hair before. Last time I chickened out and I opted for a tinted T-section, which cost way too much money and faded out completely after about three weeks. But I couldn't stop picturing this really red hair, kind of like Rose from Titanic. Also, weirdly, I've received many comments over the years that I look like Rose from Titanic. I'll let you be the judge of that. Also, a couple years back, I wore my friend DVD's wig for a night out and I just remember really enjoying the color and everyone saying I looked great and it really suited me, which is a good sign. So just to be sure, I tried the hair filter on Facetune and I was like, wow, yes, I like it. Then I got a bit obsessed and started dyeing all my favorite celebrities hair red and that was when I knew it was time. So I called up my hairdressers and booked it before I had time to change my mind. So this was my hair before. It's a strawberry blonde color naturally, and it hadn't had a cut in about six months. So my ends were super dry. Yeah, I know it looks kind of nice here. I had worn a silk bonnet to bed and it came out really nice this day, but it's not my everyday reality. I'm on my way to the hairdressers and I'm a little bit nervous cause I've never dyed my hair the amount that I'm going to dye it. I just felt really compelled to do it. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> This is what it looked like when I got to the hairdressers. These were the reference photos I showed my stylist. Yes, that is Kate Winslet. And the color my stylist suggested was copper. So that was what we went with. And before I knew it, it was too late to go back. He sprayed this stuff on my ends, which I didn't film to stop them from growing really bright orange. And he did my roots first, then my ends, no foils. And at first I was kind of like, this doesn't really look like the color I was hoping for. But as time passed, it started to go darker and darker and darker. Then he washed it out, blow dried, styled it, and I was a redhead. Finally freaking did it. It is crazy and I absolutely love it. It's exactly what I wanted. I feel like Ariel, I actually love it so much. So I'm interested to see how the color will change throughout time, because obviously it will fade. It's like crazy vibrant, especially at the roots, but I freaking love it. Like I can't stop looking at it. It looks so freaking cool. I also just got a trim, so I got about two inches cut off and then I just had some like sort of wispy bits cut in because it was all like very long and I just had these two fringy bits. I just had them sort of blended in a little bit more. I don't really like how my bangs are sitting so I'll probably style them with my roller so they go a bit more out. And this is what it looked like that weekend. I'm actually blending into the bright orange background. So maintenance. This was a perfect opportunity to use those ridiculously expensive color protecting products that I got from my last hairdresser. I was convinced it was going to drastically fade after the first few washes, but this is after one wash. I did notice some color run out in the shower, but it doesn't look that different. This is a few days after the wash, so you can see it's a little bit dirty, but you get the idea. Also, the lighting was a bit poor. This is after two washes. The color is still pretty vibrant and the roots are starting to blend in a little bit more. Again, this is a few days after the wash, so a little greasy. There's not that bright red in the roots anymore, which it was when it was first dyed. And this is after three washes. So far, so good. Still really vibrant, still the true color, not much change really. So I guess I underestimated it. So I guess we'll see what color it turns as a little bit more time passes. So that's it really, bye.